Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new server of Minecadia Factions. Of course, if you guys want to come check out the server, be sure you are using the IP royal.mincadia.com. And whenever you hop into the server, do slash redeem royal. Now, this is not a let's play video. This is the per usual showcase talking about all of the updates and what's going to happen this season of factions. Now, guys, we have a bunch of small updates that's going to change PvP a lot, change armor sets, things along those lines. But listen, guys, for this season of factions, I have heard that there are a couple factions pulling up. Or if it's not a couple, it's going to be like two really big factions going head to head. So this is going to be a super comp map. I don't even think my faction breached is really favored to win this map and we have won the last like 10 maps in a row so again i'm not really sure how many factions are pulling up but i know a lot of like the old soapy time faction is going to be playing so that's going to be a little crazy and i think there was like one other super comp faction someone in my stream i was streaming not too long ago and someone in my stream said that they are legitimately the best comp fact out right now i don't know if i believe that but i guess we'll see but anyways guys release information this is going to be releasing tomorrow january 19th at 5 p.m est as per usual it's gonna be 15 man factions infinite roster infinite alts but no allies or truces the same thing that it's been for a couple maps in a row now um it's two week long grace period so if you guys want to hop on and you don't have like a super big faction to play with or anything you can still hop on you don't even have to make a full base literally just make a box and for the first two weeks you literally can't be raided two weeks is plenty of time to stack up some uh spawners stack up some money buy some god sets get some pvp in whatever you want to do stack up some tnt to maybe raid some other other smaller factions or if you guys think you can raid any of the big comp factions you can always try that as well but now we get into a bunch of the minor pvp changes you guys may like some of these like mcmmo is going to get a little bit of a damage nerf i've never maxed my mcmmo out they've added this like uh, the past two maps i believe never maxed out so i don't really know how overpowered mcmmo was but they've nerfed the damage on axes and the damage values on swords the diablo set will also be back kind of a og-ish set the lucky enchant is now going to stack enrage enchant is now going to be buffed to strength five one of the um admin items the hell razor is going to be updated i love the hell razor that's like a god axe that you pull from crates or voyages things along those lines santa beard's been nerfed um nitro has been nerfed creeper pet is now a mythic pet a brand new mask is actually coming called the snowman mask it's going to make you immune to teleportation snowballs immune to the snowman pet and you can hit through a snow golem petrify five enchant ability so that mask actually sounds pretty decent oh wait there's actually two new masks um the warden mask is going to be introduced and it's going to disable enemies jump boost oh my god and disable enemy grapplers wait that could actually be an insane mask if you guys don't know one of the brand new metas on my Kadia is to throw anti-grab onto your boots because you can literally jump and just get away from a gank like let's see if i can actually pull a anti-grab i don't know what g kit has anti-grab on the boots actually i mean this one has jump one we got a pretty bad roll but i mean basically if you guys play mine kda you have seen the new meta i guess they're going to kind of be nerfing that with the warden mask and no grapplers you're basically not going to be able to run so i might run that because you guys know i gank pvp a lot so we might be using a warden mask because i cannot 1v1 or hit the arcade even though i do eventually want to try that but the thing is i am so bad at pvp if you guys want me to if you really want me to hit the arcade i don't know if anybody even enjoys arcade content but if you guys do let me know i can try and hit the lab for a couple couple seasons in a row we're definitely gonna die a lot but eventually i would get better anyways moving on they are also introducing a brand new balloon called the icy balloon and you are going to be immune to deathbringer damage uh, i mean that sounds really good deathbringer back in the day on like cosmic used to be one of the best enchants now it's extremely common on here and you put it on every piece of gear so i'm not really sure how much damage that's gonna like reduce if you have the icy balloon gonna have to do some testing for god sets and stuff like that but that does sound like a very good balloon and the ability the balloon comes with is called ice trap um, basically you right click it and it's going to put the last person you hit in a ice trap. So that is pretty dope. Oh my God. I just read one of the brand new updates, bro. They are introducing faction tournaments you guys know how there's usually like 1v1 tournaments 2v2 tournaments stuff like that faction tournament sounds insane if you can do like 15v15s or something like that i'm not sure how it's gonna work but that sounds insane i'm pretty sure it's gonna be 15v15 or whatever your faction size is however many are online that actually sounds like a lot of fun hopefully we can get into the faction for at least one of those tournaments but i just thought about it and i would actually be an anchor um probably would quick drop so i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see for citadel and conquest they have implemented 
implemented a disguise system to prevent allying. So everyone that's not in your faction is literally going to be like labeled above their name, like enemy one, enemy two, like things along those lines. You know what I mean? So you're not going to be able to see IGNs. You're not going to be able to see what faction you're fighting. It's to help prevent allying. I think that's actually really good, especially for me. They're also bringing back planets. I don't think it's going to be to the full capability or like what it was on the last factions realm galactic um i just know that this realm is going to be like hcf so it's going to be a wild pvp they're going to have a warp road you can't place any spawners explosions are disabled including kegs and tnt base claims enabled so basically it's like hcf so that's cool i might actually check that out for a video anyways there's still a ton of quality of life changes i can't go through everything in the showcase video if you guys want to read it join up my Katie's discord and go check it out yourself but one of the other brand new updates that i love to see is a raiding update if you start a raid or if a raid has started against you and your first raid alert has gone off you will no longer be able to mine your spawners it's to prevent people that are getting raided to just mine their spawners and then you got to go make a ticket and be like yo need those spawners and all of that stuff now you're just not going to be able to mine them if you just had a raid alert go off that is great great news for me because that happens all the time whenever we are raiding other factions so anyways guys like i said there's still a ton of other updates in there hopefully we get some new voyage rooms this map but we've been saying that for a couple of maps and we haven't gotten any new voyage rooms i tried to do voyages last season and I got cooked every single time I got into a voyage. So yeah, this map, I am going to be going solo box once again. I joined one in the last map, but the thing is, I never feel comfortable selling the chest. So I just never have money whenever I join another box. Um, just going to go solo, get my own spawners, make my own bread, my own money. You know what I mean? So anyways, that's going to do it for the showcase video. Again, this is releasing tomorrow, bro, at 5 p.m. EST. And yeah, with all that being said, obviously come check it out. Drop a like, sub if you guys are new. Hopefully you guys are ready for this season of factions. Again, this one's really supposed to be one of the more competitive maps. I think I said that last season and then we rolled the other faction in 24 hours. That wasn't really supposed to happen, I don't think. But from everything I've heard about this map, it's supposed to be crazy. So yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys are hyped. I will catch you guys in the actual Let's Play Factions videos.